What's up, Bond Squad? This is DC Kool Aid, and I'm coming at y'all with this Arby's. Arby's. I'm trying to, um, hopefully, it's on. I think it's, oh, the light is on. I don't want it all in my face. I don't want it in my face. Anyway, let me go back like that. I got this Arby's because Charles and Lisa, they wanted Arby's. Charles and, <laughs> Charles and Lisa wanted Arby's, so I got some Arby's, crinkle fries. I don't eat that many. Did you take some out of here? Because it's low. It ain't, if you don't eat that many, how you going to sit up there? I don't eat that many, but it's low. So I got all um, huh? You need more than what's in there? No. But I just wanted to make sure. You know it probably settled, right? Because mine one full to the top. I got a pink strawberry lemon. Wait, what is this? Strawberry lemonade or pink lemonade? You got the strawberry lemonade or the peach? Just a strawberry. You gotta be strawberry. Damn, I didn't know they had peach. I would got peach. All right, so I'm trying this new buffalo. Let me say my grapes first. All right. I'm trying this new, I don't know if I can point it down with. Uh, I'm going to have to lift it up for y'all because I don't have nothing tall because my tray thing is upstairs. And I didn't think I was going to go live. But this is new um, buffalo chicken wrap. I didn't want bread. So I'm trying this. They wrap feel so. I'm trying this buffalo um, chicken wrap. And it's fat. I didn't know it was this big. God damn. I got ranch sauce because I thought I was going to eat ranch. But the way it's big, I should have got a plate plate. So, what's up, Miss Tell the Truth? I got to plug my mouse up because it's about to die. It's coming apart. I feel like I need a um a fork. Just the um just the chicken. It's um buffalo. All right. Is it fried or grilled? It's fried, but it's um it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But I want it in the wrap piece. But it's falling apart. How are you supposed to eat this thing? Get out with your paper bag. But I want them to see it. So this is the Arby's um chicken wrap. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Let's see. Look at how do you feel? They said, how do you feel? So I got screen. Yeah. What's up, Sammy? Just now. Okay, James. Woo, this is spicy. This is spicy. Okay. So you say put some in the ranch? I got some curly fries too. She said they shrink, they shrink up after. That's weird. Because Arby is not near the house. It is spicy. Who is spicy? Let me dip some in the um, ranch. They didn't have blue cheese, so I settled for ranch. And then I'll serve buffalo wings. <laughs> it is spicy. Uh, you know, people James eat M is Voodoo Priest. Oh, okay. Hey. They had to switch their name to the government. Uh, you know, most people don't eat blue cheese, right? Blue cheese is bomb. All right, y'all. So while I'm eating and dropping fries, the dog gonna get it. We'll have to see it first. Now I'm gonna have to pick it up and um split it. What y'all have for lunch? What did y'all have for lunch? Stuff. Stuff. All right, so I'm gonna start. All right, this is what's gonna happen. Today, this afternoon, 
I'm gonna put a picture up. It got to do with the baby reveal on Sunday. Gender reveal. Gender. Yeah, gender reveal. Did I say what? Well, it's the same thing. No, you ain't revealing the baby. Oh, you the gender. The sex of the baby. The gender. Yeah, five guys. Oh, I love five guys. Five guys get all your money though. All of it. Look at letters. That's pretty good. Are they just spicy? You gotta use the ranch because no, they got a certain sauce in there. Right, it's buffalo sauce, buffalo wing sauce is hot. That's what it is. You got a smoothie. Ooh, I can use a smoothie from Smoothie King. Ooh, Smoothie King got five dollar of Friday tomorrow. Yes, sir. Let me get one tomorrow. I had today a blueberry banana smoothie. That sound good. I can't eat no peanuts like that. But I got cakes of water now, and I got a water cup that keep ice. So I've been drinking a lot of ice water, what, the past couple of days now? I love water, as long as it's cold, but I can still drink it. But my thing is, um, I'm going to put a picture in the community board, on the community wall. And when you see it, if you say team girl or team boy, whoever wins, whatever group of people wins, whoever... Like, if you all say Greek team boy, right, and it's a boy, when we find out on Sunday, I'm going to put all the people's names in the in the bowl, and whoever name, you have a chance to win a um, baby gift bag with one of our, um, I got a piece of um, lettuce or something, one, one of our um, things, a coffee mug thing from our um, store. So we're going to do a giveaway to the winner with the chance to win if if you pick the right sex and the right gender, like Lisa said. <laughs> if you pick the right gender, we're gonna put all the names who won who won the, who what the baby is, which we will find out after 12 o'clock on Sunday. And whoever name get pulled out, we're gonna mail you the gift, the baby gift bag. Cause you know, you have a chance to win. So I'm gonna put all the information inside the um on the community wall once we um once I get off of here later. So then you got a chance to win something. So so far on the community wall, people going team girl. I noticed yesterday. Everybody going for team girl. Everybody want girl. Why does nobody want boy? It's a couple people said team boy. Some people said team boy. So you get a chance to win. I mean, it's, it is fun trying to figure out what the sex is, but I want y'all to be a part of it. Mm. This rap is good, but I'm just not used to a Lucy rap. <laughs> it's Lucy. Everything falling out. Everything falling out of the rap. So that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the idea right there. For real, you just going to repeat me? She repeating everything I'm saying. Just <clears throat> Janelle, Janelle said, um, <clears throat> It's just because they're more clothes clothing to buy for girls in the store. That's so mean. Little boys can be cute too. My baby was cute all the time. You know what? That's a good idea though. I can up a, open up a baby boy store. Even though they have they don't have baby boy store. Everything for boys. I wanted to open. I ain't gonna That's lie. the name of it. Everything for boys. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> That'd be cool. This is I had because I don't know if anybody had it here in DC, but in Alabama, we had this this um, little store that was just for girls. You could go in there; they had all girl accessories, but they also did little girl makeovers. Little girls could have their birthday parties there. It was like they I had one out here in Leesburg. They got one. I wanted one for little boys. They don't never have one like that for just little boys. Little boys, you just take them to Chuck E. Cheese or a bouncing no, place. Chuck E. Cheese. 
<laughs> no, it's a place where it's a place where they like instead of having crowns, they have little cowboy hats or a little working. You know what? It ever considered classically a boy thing. I love dressing up my girls, but I had a, had my son shop as well. I know that's gonna tell the truth. You got to. You talking about um? I'm gonna do a um. I already got the girl. You know the thing I did on on. I'm talking to Charles. Oh, though. The thing on um YouTube, oh. Teen Girl or Teen Boy. Yeah. But I'm gonna do another one oh, okay. where they put their name. Yeah. And then if it, whatever it is we find out on Sunday, oh. all the people that got the right answer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put all those names in the bowl, oh, okay. and I'm gonna send them a gift. Oh, okay. They got a chance to win a gift bag, a baby oh, okay. gift bag. Who should? Who should? Can I, can I get some time with my son? Oh. He like you need to take your son upstairs. You gonna do all that? <laughs> you can't leave one without the other. You at my house now. You can't leave one without the other. <laughs> so when you have multiple oh. kids or multiple dogs, I ain't gonna leave him there. But he always the first one to get the attention. Oh. This time you ain't the first one, player. Jack's like, you in my house now. Even when you upstairs, not in this house. Yeah, how you doing, Karen? How you been feeling? <laughs> Anybody want to get up here with me? <laughs> Come in. Come in. How many people have boys? How many people have kids? As I need to say first, how many people got kids? <laughs> Whew, this is spicy, but it's good, Charles. Oh, it is. Mm-hmm. It just like your spicy. It's just a little messy. <laughs> it's not wrapped like a tight wrap. Oh. See how it's a Lucy wrap? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. That's not they. That's not they. Uh, what they call that? That's not specialty. Their, that's not their specialty. Nope. What do you say? I put my guests on. Oh, no, I'm going to put it on there again. It's going to be a picture. You're going to see a picture. I already got the picture already. That was just to see how many people um, guess on that one. Karen said she has a girl and a boy. I have no children, but I have God, child, lots of nieces and nephews. Okay. Man, this spice is opening up all, everything. I should ask Charles he want the rest of these fries. I have two grown daughters. <laughs> kids are so different now. From that, like, like, kids are just different from when we was growing up. You know, like when I had Brittany when she was young. I have a 37-year-old son and a 17-year-old daughter and two grandchildren, 15 and 18. See, the grandkids make you back feeling like when you was raising your own kid, but in a different environment. That's going to feel weird, huh? Uh -uh, grandkids, what, what you all that stuff that people tell you you weren't supposed to do? Don't spoil the baby. Put the baby down. Don't do this. What's up, Morris? Now, now we get to do all that with somebody else's baby and then you get home. Send the baby home. Be like, we done. We just send them Thank upstairs. <laughs> Hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button. Yep. But I'm excited now. You know, it didn't really hit me until I heard the baby heartbeat. I guess I was in denial. My child is about to have a baby. <laughs> baby. And every time I keep looking at her stomach, I'll be like this. Is it getting bigger? <laughs> I know, right? It just feels so weird. I have six grandkids, three grandsons, three granddaughters. Okay. You got a lot of spoiling to do over there. Can't wait for the head, baby. How old are they, Tammy? How old are your um grandbabies? The teenagers now can really stay out of my face. But the little ones, I... 
<laughs> until they try you. <laughs> I don't know. I just think when kids are young, they're so different. And as they get older, why do they look like, not look like, but they act dumber? What is this? The older they get, the dumber they get. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a time there. Okay. There's a time right there in between to where they think they know everything. And during that time when they think they know everything uh -huh. is when they dumb as hell. Yeah, they just get dumb. And it's not that it's bad. That's what they're supposed to do. You ask them something, I don't know. It's like, okay. <laughs> Case in point, I be asking Nick. What you watching? Oh no. We know. We be talking about getting his driver's license, right? How long? No, no, that's not. A good. We talk about getting his driver's license, right? And I keep telling them, you need to get your permit so you can, so that you can drive in a car, actually. And he's like, well, I know, mom. I, I do. That. I took the test and I read the book. Boy, let me tell you something. You don't know everything. They swear they know everything. Mama, I, I know this. Why don't you, don't you get on the on the stream because it's gonna sound like you far away. Mama, I know you don't wear a thing, sir. I don't care. I'm to be wrong. Yeah, kids, they just get dumber. Brittany went through that little phase for a minute. Now she in a phase where she thinks she's the parent. Like wow. Nah, no, she went through the phase where you know, you know everything was smooth. And then when she went to the phase, when she thought she knew everything. And then not she in the phase right now, but she think you she the parent. And we always said, wait till you have your own. <laughs> How long we been saying that? Wait till you have your own. Wait till you have your own. Ain't nothing like your own. And she like, what you talking about, Ma? So you'll see. I ain't having no kids. With all that practical stuff you think you know when you, when you, when you keep talking about kids. Oh, I know that. You know, Could I you log on? I'm about to I babysit. Shoot. Let me see. Who was that? That was uh, Miss Tell the Truth. Miss Tell the Truth, did your kids become dumber and dumber as, as they were like, you know, within that 13 year old range to about. 20 maybe 20. You stupid. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm good. Yeah, I got a new chair. This chair right here. I ain't even gonna lie. This chair is so comfortable. I love this chair. I put my little racing car things on them, but I do them at night or something. They got the little, I put the little racing car cushion. What are I doing them? Oh, they back there. They behind the wall. But um, yeah, I had to get a new one. I like this one for now. Did you? So Karen, you doing better? I was about to send my boys out there and get the real good good to you. <laughs> get the corner boys to get you some good medication. Make you feel better. Just gonna take a ride to DC on the corner to get your medication for you so you can feel better. People was like, You seen Karen? Anybody seen Karen? That's good. The bossy pants phase is always fun. Shoot. That's just crazy. YouTube, TikTok, Netflix, and gaming consoles are raising my older niece and nephew. It's a shame. Yeah, it is. We talk about that all the time. We tell Nick, we ain't had that growing up. We ain't had no, we ain't had none of that. Mm -mm. Not a darn console, phone. We had phone. We had what? Yeah, Atari. Oh, Atari came out later. But Atari, you didn't play with Atari, right. you didn't play with um hold on, I gotta turn this off. 
What is your thing? I don't know. Let me go out and come to <laughs> Atari, you didn't play with um other people. Atari, you just played against the, the, the computer itself, the game itself, the console. No, that's what I'm saying. Atari, you, you, you didn't you you couldn't get in trouble with Atari. You didn't have people on there harassing your kid. Mm -mm. My son, how are you? Oh, see? Miss Tell the Truth, that's it right there. They be dumb. When they get older. I gotta turn this off. Hold on. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Hey, man. Can you hear me? How does that sound? You good. Oh. I mean, I don't necessarily mind the, the, the electronics and stuff like that as far as our kids are concerned because that's just stuff we didn't have. We would have loved to have it. We wouldn't have been mad at all. Janelle said, It's just got to be a balance. Turn your volume down, Mom, for that. Turn your face down. My face is down. I'm eating. It's not down. <laughs> Janelle said, Them kids don't know a damn thing about fresh air and staying outside disconnected. And have fun. Yeah. We should play tag, high and go see. Red like we like. <laughs> we played all that. I mean, we did so much. Yeah, but we could, I mean, but. Oh, I got, um, hold on one second. Keep talking one second. We could also be outside after dark. One second. You know what I'm saying? These kids, I mean, I, 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 while I'm perfectly okay with going and playing, these, what happened? <laughs> Think about it. We know that um, kids got a lot more to deal with than we did. And parents ain't raising their kids like they used to. You know what I mean? Nah, I ain't not. But this is like, hold on, I have to say that. That's awesome. Because Jack gave me that thing. This is like, they, they don't go outside like the stuff said. They don't play. Right, but other parents are not raising their kids like we were raised. So we can't sit up there and say that because at the end of the day, I don't trust people with my kids. I don't trust other kids with my kids. And I mean, it's just the, the times change. Everything changes. We keep trying to put our 1970s, 1980s raising on our 2,000 babies. We can't do that. But you know what's funny, though? Like, all right. How I phrase that? I don't know. It's like, all right, so we had our kids. Right. right? And our kids are having kids. Right. I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, it's just what all right. So when we were kids, uh -huh. we didn't have social media. Right. When we had our kids in the beginning, we really didn't have social media. Right. Because Brittany didn't, Nick came at 2000. 2004. Oh. So he didn't, MySpace was still popular. Nick was just on the computer. He didn't have social media. Right. And see, Brittany didn't have none of that stuff. Because he's not on social media like that now. She got a phone when she was like a teenager, like 13. When she turned 13, I got her one of them small flip phones. Sit down. That's what was out. She got a pink little flip phone. But it wasn't social media. You couldn't do nothing. You just call people. You know what I'm saying? Right. So now, they older, 
what are their kids going to be doing? Well, I mean, we have to be able to recognize that what their kids are going to be doing, their parents are going to be saying the exact same things we're saying right now. What Brittany's going to be saying the same thing about her baby. And Nick, in a few years, whenever he can, hi, sir. Yes, you in trouble. You shouldn't have did it. So, and Nick, what he has, he's going to be saying the same thing. And I think that we keep forgetting that we can't apply what I did growing up in the 70s and the 80s to what even Brittany had to go through growing up in the 19s and the early 2000s. And Nick has never, Nick has never seen the number 19 and a date. Right. Except 2019. So, and we get... We get caught up in how we were raised, and I wish it was that time, but it's not. We just go outside and don't come home. Mm-hmm. Little black kids go play in the park and get shot by the police. Little yeah. girls get trafficked by the by the neighborhood. Back in the day, I ain't gonna try to be funny. It sounds bad. Back in the day, even the drug dealers was different. So you you get you gotta expect when times change, you just have to you have to be okay with right now. I was fine with Nick even now playing his game and doing his stuff in the house because I know what he is. Because every time I turn my timeline on or you turn on the TV, somebody's shooting, somebody's getting hurt, somebody's you know what I'm saying? Just tell the truth, say back in the day we could sit on the porch until Till 1 a.m. and older siblings and kids today sit out, may get shot and snatched up. True. Right. We could walk. I know that I have stumbled home walking in the middle of the street at 2 o'clock in the morning and not worry about nobody trying to take me nowhere, not worry about. Well, I was like 18, 19, 20, my, my, my late teens, early 20s. I know that we could hang out. You know, the most we had to worry about was. Fighting. Mm-hmm. These kids can't even. The, the, the reality is, these kids can't even go to school without having to worry about somebody don't t- calling in a bomb threat, getting pissed off because some little girl didn't want to go to the prom with them. They can't even go to school, so they don't even have. They didn't have to deal with what we had to deal with, and we didn't have to deal with what they had to deal with. I graduated from high school in 1985. There was one school shooting, and it didn't happen at school. It happened at the arcade, and it wasn't in my school. That's just crazy. These kids have to deal with a school shooting, or even just not even the shooting, but just the threat of a school shooting every day, every time they walk into class. See, um, Janelle said, I had a console, but that but I had to earn that. It wasn't a pity gift, petty gift, because my parents didn't have one growing up. I also wasn't playing on it for no 10 hours. Right? Well, I ain't trying to be funny. You couldn't play on it for 10 hours. <laughs> that bitch, yeah, I... <laughs> you can't say nothing. <laughs> this always come up. <laughs> Oh, it's only so much you can make Mario do. <laughs> it's only so many. It's only so many mushrooms and so right. Mario. <laughs> I'm gonna sit right trust here. Trust me, trust me when I tell you, we have stayed. What's the longest me and my me and my roommate had a Super Mar- a Super Nintendo, and we had Super Mario Three. And I promise you we played that bitch all day one day. We just sat there, two grown ass adults, drunk as hell, all work, playing Mario all day long. <laughs> See. Mm-mm. We played so long. I remember we, when we first got Atari and then we got Duck Hunt to, to play with. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We, and, and it was fun playing those games because you didn't have nobody cussing you out. You ain't had nobody. Like, we were just talking about this this morning, me and um, Charles and Brittany. We was just talking about this when me and Charles ran to the grocery store. We were, like, talking about how uh, we'd be on the game. Like, I play Call of Duty till, like, 3 in the morning sometime because I'm in a clan. Or sometimes I just be playing because it's fun. But then you have to take all the negativities and people cussing you out. Or like one time, I, I had Brittany and Charles laughing, 
we was playing against this other team. It was another clan. And um, I accidentally shot the guy by accident because he ran in front of me while I was shooting somebody else. And all of nowhere, he just came out cussing. Come on, who the hell shot me? I'm going to catch your ass. You suck. You don't need to be playing. They just go ham. And these, we're not talking about kids. We're talking about grown people. And it's like, if you can only imagine, you know, how back then, as a kid listening to that, but then I got to look at it, it'd be kids on there too. But if sometimes, if you're in the clan, most likely you link up with other people. Well, I mean, I can't say nothing because. I never played on it for a long time. If I don't tell him to get up and bathe and eat and go sleep, he'll stay there like giving him oxygen. Nick. Nick was like that. And he's still like that. But he's not as bad because he does other things. But Nick would be on there. We'd be like, your ass thing, boy, you better go take a shower. Did you eat? That was Nick. Nick was like that really hard. He was like that hard as hell. And we had to stop it. Remember back then when he had to bring the controller down to me? Mm -hmm. I said, I bring the controller, the phone, especially, you know, you got, no, no, that's too long. Was it was ten o'clock? It was a ten o'clock curfew. Cause if it, was, if it wasn't ten o'clock, he'd be up till who knows. Paul said a five-year-old little boy came to school with a gun to school, and he got expelled. Wow, five-year-old shit! His parents should have got locked up. That's what should have happened. His parents should have went to jail. Well, that's messed up. A five-year-old. Think about it. Then you got other kids up in there and he and there with a Why didn't spell him? I mean, he didn't know. But what if? Oh, I didn't say he shouldn't have. I mean, he should have been in trouble, but mm -hmm. I mean, that seems a little extreme, especially if he didn't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, what if? What if that gun would have went off? We had a block. We had a blackout van following my daughter's school bus. Thank God I was out there waiting for her. Now she's homeschooled and this happened right before COVID hit. 2020. Wow. That's crazy. That's scary. Well, you know, uh, view, a view is a view was online this morning and I was in our live stream this morning, early in the morning and she was telling me, did I know that they caught this guy? Apparently he was planning a um, um, what you call that? Um, um, what you call mass shooting? Huh? A mass shooting? Yeah, he was planning a mass shooting at on the fourth of July, all here in Virginia where we live at. And I was like, what? But somebody told on him, and he and they got him for it. So well, I mean, I ain't trying to be funny. Most of these mass shootings can be. Avoid it because there were signs. There were signs. There were people saying, hey, he did this and he did that. Or there were parents who were sitting up there giving these underage kids who can't vote or who can't drink a gun for birthday presents. That's but crazy. I don't pay attention. Well, no, nah, I don't pay attention. Well, he's not like that. My son would never do that. I don't understand why they're saying that. They're saying that because you just gave this 18-year-old $10,000 worth of guns, and he goes out and uses it to shoot up people. And then you want to sit there and talk about not my Timmy, not my Ted. Mm -hmm. There were signs. This last guy that killed these six people and injured 24. They had been to the house several times for him. They took all the knives from him, but then they said since they took his knives, they thought that he would be okay. Hmm. So now six people who just went out to celebrate a little fireworks and have a little fun with their family, well, they did. Um, Janelle said grades are trash, but now how to... But know how to um, play Fortnite. Now explain that. <laughs> I don't know. Because, because Fortnite is something they want to do, grades are something they have to do. What's up, Just Krista? Sadly, that is the absolute only thing. 
That's just it. She said, it baffled me because my sibling sees no issue with garbage grades. See, I don't play that. I moved I moved to Virginia because I know Brittany Gray's wasn't good out there because they they wasn't really teaching them anything out there. So that's why I moved to Virginia to upgrade, you know, uproot her from the city, which her grades went up. And then when Nick came along, his grades, Nick, Nick was getting A's and B's, but when they started going down, that's when I started taking stuff away. And what happened? His grades went back up. So he had to he had to deal with understanding that the only way I can keep my stuff, I better keep my grades up. Now, why parents let their kids fail, I don't get it. With the time that's going on in this world, with uh, the cost of living and everything, what are you teaching your children? I don't get it. But some people, they so stuck on whatever, their kids playing the game, they not in their hair, they not bugging them. So but it's whatever. Not even worrying about their grades. I don't get it. But in this house, that didn't happen. Nah. I, I refuse to let that happen. Karen said, I don't get it either. Because they, they the kid is playing games and they're not bothering them. You got parents, you got parents out here, they want to smoke, drink, have fun with their boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever. And a child, as long as they're playing their game, they ain't in their hair, they're not questioning, asking anything, they fine with it. But then they want to go first at the teacher because the teacher ain't teaching them. No, your kid ain't learning because your child is bad because they can't pay attention in school. Because they playing the game all day. Yeah, we get so old, y'all. Hmm. Well, well, it's not, it's no, no, no. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. No, what I said. What I said was is that these are the same arguments our parents had for us just for different reasons because we was because we was goofing off or whatever whatever that's right current um parents trying to be their friends that's true yeah my and my ain't had no friend my mom I ain't. my parents wasn't playing that shit mm -mm. nope but see we wasn't crazy so kids these days they 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 daring they do stuff see we when i was growing up you believe in that switch that belt <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, these kids, they call a popo on you. I ain't gonna lie, bands here. Just tell hey. the truth. I'm so very sorry. My daughter don't play about her grades. She has been on the honor since she was in school. She is on the pastor's honor roll. And thank God she's in the 12th grade and almost over. Yep. Shut up. Nick is a senior. Yep, see, he going to 12th grade this year. What the hell? That's crazy. That is, I that mean, is ridiculous. I remember when Nick was, was in 4th grade. I don't know, it's a little grade. <laughs> he was a 4th grader. Nick was in 4th grade, now he going to he the was a little grade. I don't know. Like I say, if you're not, you got to be hard on your kids when it comes to school. Even though they might like their games, for people that, that's listening, that looking at themselves in the mirror and said, oh, that's me. My child is playing games all day long. And I wonder why he get or she get bad grades. But don't I'm gonna tell you something. Don't always blame it on the game I'm not because my dear friend, I'm always their parent. Huh? Because I'm a lot of times, just like you just said, we don't play about our grades and things like that. And we didn't play about our grades with Nick because we knew Nick had the the capacity to get the grades. We knew Nick had the ability he just wasn't doing it so that's why he got in trouble but we also got to realize that we can't lump all these kids together because while nick might have had the ability to do it the little boy sat next to him might not have parents got to start paying attention to their kids both ways because sometimes kids will be covering up their inability to do certain things especially when it comes to academics by being in trouble by acting out by playing the game all the time because they can they can understand click click clack clack click clack clack but they two plus two is hard for them. Mm -hmm. Parents have to accept that every that I would have had to accept that Nick needed help when it comes to academics if that was the case. A lot of times parents will ignore that thinking that if I if I acknowledge that my child needs help academically, then it's something I did wrong. 
because he's stupid. That don't mean he's stupid. That just means you have to you have to make sure that a kid can learn the shit you want him to learn. Everybody don't learn the same. And that doesn't make them stupid. That just makes them different. But if you keep a child, you keep pressing the child to, 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 to get A's and they can barely make C's and C's is their A, then a lot of times that's why a lot of kids do stuff that we don't understand. Krista said, just Krista said, yes, that's the old school bad grades. My mom took snacks. We had to eat dinner and water, no Kool-Aid, nothing with sugar. Let's just say I always been a big girl. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Tell the truth, said I'm not their friend. I'm always their parent. Justin Nelson, I didn't like to hear any voices being raised, so I just did as I was told. I love salads in the house growing up. <laughs> right? I get it. I don't know about this. No, but we were just saying. We was loud. Sometimes age brackets are different when we were growing up because like we were saying in the beginning a lot of kids parents like what's the name just said they more friends than the parent you know what I'm saying because now these days you got tell you got kids telling the parents and I'd be like oh hell no that wouldn't happen then investigator I always ask my nephew don't you have homework no now I stay I stayed with homework in high school. How you never have homework? You know what? That was Nick too. But then Nick told me, because I would ask him, we come in every day, you had homework. And at one point, he had homework. And all of a sudden, as he got in the older school, like the elementary, he always had school homework. But when he came to middle school, towards high school, I was like, Nick, you had homework? I already did it. I said, okay. He did it at school. So I said, okay, you know, but like I said, if you don't have homework and, and, and you have school during the day and you're doing homework at school, whatever the case is, it was showing your report card. So as long as the report card wasn't messed up, I ain't had no questions. But I just found it strange because we had homework every day. The teachers made sure you brought something home. Well, they don't do that. I mean, all schools now are cutting out homework. Now, I don't know why. That's but. just crazy. Yeah, but like I said, back to the... um. I'm sure there's a reason that <laughs> we don't know nothing about. No, but the point is, long as I, like I said, long as that, long as this, long as your, your report card, that's what counts. But now, I don't know if you guys have this approach in your state where you live at. Now, these days, school has um the school app on the phone. Well, you can go to the app on your phone and you can literally look at your child's grade and you can literally look at um, if they have homework or if they have something missing that they're supposed to turn in. Or actually, if they actually got in trouble, you know, and then it also have attendance if he was out of school, in school, where was he? You know, so now these days um, they have all of that you can you can pretty much look at the calendar I'm, I'm reading right now the health school information conference documents course history test history you it's everything now technology is so up to date to the point where you can track anything that's going on with your your um your child at school what they call them students i used to say well, that's my child that's not my student remember that <laughs> So you can track everything about your child's information, what's going on at school. So, like I said, I don't know if they have that. You can check your school and see if they have that type of um, app on your phone that you can put. There's nothing in there because it's the end of the year. It's summer. Yeah, but like I said, they got pretty much everything. English, math, science, all this stuff. Was, all his stuff is right here. So if he tell me one thing, if I open this thing right now, it better say what he's telling me. All right, let's see with Susie. What's up, Susie Q? Hey, everyone. My 16-year-old son plays this game more often than I like, but he still has high honors since freshman. See, now that's not a problem. Why is they moving that thing like that? Because he's been doing the zoomies and the curtain is not pushed back. 
Okay. Um, I don't see no wrong. Like I told Nick, as long as his grades, when he was, you know, in, when, when school was in session, as long as it didn't affect his grades, I didn't have a problem. You know, because he used to have bedtime. Time to go to bed, turn that stuff off, bring down your, um, all your stuff. And then once he, you know, got older, I was like, look, if your grades good, I'm starting to take take stuff back. Just take it back. You know, because you got computers, you got phone, you got PlayStation, you got everything up there. And you got your libraries. And when you start taking stuff from them, oh, trust me, you see a change real quick because they want their stuff back real fast. They want it back. Uh, hold on. What's this one? Yes, they changed the homework game to say. Just to now say this is the one with the not so good grace. Talking about no homework, never reading, never studying, not a damn thing. You know what? And, and when kids do that, send their ass to summer school. Send them to summer school. They ain't gonna like summer school. All their friends having fun. You couldn't do it during the year. Send them to summer school. See, when we was in DC, I sent Brittany to summer school. Cause I was like, oh no, this ain't happening. You ain't do this. But like I said, once we go to Virginia, things just changed. Her whole school system went up. Her whole her livelihood was better than what it was when we was in DC. Susie Q says schools don't teach cursive writing anymore. You know what's funny? Who 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 is that? Bye. There. I see what you're doing. I, I, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not. Look, look, look what Susie could. Man, we went to a, uh, we went to this uh, back to school night. Uh -huh. And we were sitting in the classroom, right? And and I was looking around, and then I was like, this was his first year in middle school. I think so, yeah. It was his first year in middle school. Or was it elementary? No. It fifth grade? Fourth grade? No, it was when we had to go. And I was looking around the classroom, and I said, "Bay, why they don't have the cursive writing? You know, they, they have it up on the on the on the on the across the top of the wall like that." <coughs> and I was like, "They don't have cursive writing." And so I left it alone. I ain't saying that. I wonder. They don't teach cursive writing. They don't teach the clocks anymore. The shit that we learned in the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade. They don't teach none of that no more. And if you stay long enough, they're not gonna teach anything anymore. Every time we turn around, they're banning books, taking stuff off the curriculum, curriculum, curriculum. The only thing they're doing is keep making math harder. That's it. Just keep making math harder. Yeah, I was I was like this in class in that class that day. I said, damn, they only had cursive writing. I did ask the teacher. I said, why y'all don't have the I said, why do you guys do not have the cursive writing across the um, thing? And she said, we don't teach cursive writing. They didn't stop that. So I left to my brain. We left. I said, well, how are they supposed to sign anything? Eventually, they're going to have to sign something. They're going to have to write a check, sign their name. They're going to have to sign documents as they grow up. And they're going to have to sign uh, interview papers, all the applications and everything. They're just going to print it out. they going to sign it. So Hold up, me and Nick went somewhere. Oh, when he went to a job interview and he, had, and he got the job and he had to fill the papers out. Uh -huh. So it's, you know, at the bottom, you had to sign it. All right. So I, I, I looked, so I, I didn't say <laughs> I didn't say that. I was just looking. I was like, how's he going to sign his name? So all he did was print his name. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow. Uh. That's why I write in cursives to confuse my niece and nephews. <laughs> Janelle says she writes cursive to confuse my niece and nephews. I write in a com I write you know, a combination. I write in cursive to Nick just to see if he can read it. Out of curiosity. Write write a whole or find some in cursive that so he can read. <laughs> Um, Susie Q said, I used to love Roman numerals. Now, I could never get that. I could never get Roman numerals. You know how to do Roman numerals? To an extent. Uh, to, a to an extent. I couldn't do it. No, nope, never learned it. Never you just got to know. Um, you just got to know the different. Like, um, 
what, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 is, because everything else is just like 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, v, 1, V, 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 1, V, 1, 1. It's, it's all just variations of that. Lisa going to teach y'all how to write Roman numerals one day. <laughs> it's not to teach you how to write it because it's just the V's, the X's, it's, it's just the M's, the C's. It's just the secrets of learning how to write in Roman numerals. Nobody does it. So the only nobody does it anymore. My husband was a teacher and a and a basketball coach, and I was a special ed teacher assistant. We truly believe in education in our home. That's right, Miss Taylor Truth. Shoot, y'all had to hold. Your kids couldn't get away with nothing over there when it came to school. Janelle said, I throw in that creative writing. They like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Just because they said, yes. Hey, do a video that would be so interesting. Nick is such a nice looking young man and he has a beautiful spirit. Y'all have done a great job. Thank you, Krista. <laughs> she said, we're going to do a video. Short video, short video. Teaching Nick how to write cursing. Uh -huh. Teaching Nick how to sign his name. Teaching Nick cursing writing. And then curse reading and writing cursing. That's a long title. We'll figure it out. <laughs> what it gonna have to do with teaching him how to write cursing and read it. I don't think it's too hard to read it because it's only a few letters that are all the way changed. Like None of the letters are like all the way changed. We're going to see. We're going to write something. See the Yeah. You, if, 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 if you know the alphabet, you can read cursive. Like, do like, 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 write it, write in cursive the three little man story. Like, a little bit of it. It was the three little bears. Like, just write that whole little thing. How, like, if you write it in cursive, how would he tell the story reading it? That would be funny. That would be funny. We gonna do that. You want to write the three little bear story, and he gonna read the three little bear story and curse it. Excuse me. I know. I thought that. That's what. See, that's my issue, Susie Q. When it comes to signing your name, you know, you have to have your own signature, and that's just. Remember, he made one up. Why do we still remember that when he made up? I don't know. It was like with a circle. I was like, Nick, your name longer than that. What's that? <laughs> he said, that's my signature. This is when he was a little younger. He needs to do that circle now. My my signature is, is ha my signature is half of what my name is. I don't know. You I never mean, see my, my signature? My signature is half of what my name he is. Look. He made it. He did something. Like he was about to start writing his name and then he made a circle and he went, Shh. I wonder if he still remember that. Probably not. That's going to be part of the video, too. Mate, what's that same signature you had? Nick, Nick going to be like, uh-uh. He going to read the three little beds. It's going to be a different whole story. Do he know that? Hold up. First of all, do he know the three little beds story? I don't know. I ain't telling bedtime stories. <laughs> Dang, he ain't never learned about three little beds. I'm sure he did in school. Well, what did he learn about that you know he know? Maybe that's been 12, 15 years ago. I don't know. You I read the Nick when he was an infant. I read the Nick when he was a baby baby. Now, I don't know if he remembers the stories. I read to Nick so that he would be able to pronounce words and enunciate. I never baby talked to him. I read him stories when I was a baby, but I don't know what he remembers. Oh, that once he started good. talking, once he started talking, I, I, then I just started talking and responding to him. I didn't tell him oh, stories like that. Like the three little pigs? He didn't go to daycare. Hold up, wait a minute. Um, that would be good content, Susan Q said. Yeah, we're going we gonna to get him. Yeah, he didn't go to daycare and he didn't go to preschool. Nick went from nothing What's to up, kindergarten. Um, Janelle said, when you look at older movies, they have the dates of production in Roman numerals, film Noir and Liz Taylor films Monroe. They still got a lot. They still got a lot of. They still do Roman numerals for a lot of things. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Well, they don't. Appreciate they it. don't really do. I mean, a lot of the stuff that people.
people what? I guess I always look for times to change. So when they changed, I didn't have that hard of a time with them. But now that I'm getting older, I realize that I sound just like my mama talking about stuff that I did. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just us getting older. And that's just how we look at it. We look at everything through our lens, through how we were raised, what we learned, what we watched on TV, how we partied, how hell, how we raised our kids. And that's how we look at our kids when they're doing the stuff that we did. Mm. So, I mean, it's just imagine because they don't know that you don't have to put every little thing online because that's how they grew up. Right. They don't know that you shouldn't feel everything you do because that's just how they grew up. But that's just different than how we grew up. So we have to try to look at it from their perspective. That's just like growing up. These kids are, do you know that teachers will give kids ADHD medicine, even if they're not prescribed? They always talking about how kids are not supposed to bring drugs and shit to school, but they will allow teachers to give a child ADHD medicine. If the child, if the teacher thinks the child has ADHD, we didn't have none of that shit. Mm -mm. What about taking no Adderall and no nothing because we talked too much? We got our ass beat. We had we had mm -hmm. Adderall. That's what we had. Adderall. We had Adderall. That's crazy. Or you or or your parents would sit up there. I know my mom would come to school and say, "Y'all need to give us something to do." She threw. She sitting over there with nothing to do because she finished. Find something else for her ass to do. Give us something to read. Make her write another paper. Just Krista, you got some ass a roll. <laughs> my my mom would come up to the school and be like, she's bored. Because um nowadays the kids be on so many drugs, hell. And teachers are doing it. It's it's like it's like kids, we send our kids to school because I like for like three seconds I thought about homeschooling. But then I wanted him to to know people and to to get a different environment because he's not gonna live in a home school. He's gonna live in a world where there's everybody. But school is just not shit. Nothing is like it was when we was growing up. And I try to look at it from perspective of I wish that I was treated a little different growing up because some of the things that I got punished for. I see now are things that maybe you should have asked me why. You know, hold on, yeah, let me look at the chat. And what's the last chat? What's the last comment? All right. If hold on, you're not even on the Why thing. You no, took no. your thing off. I don't know what I did. Pressing buttons. She <laughs> pressing buttons. All right. Just Janelle said, if we supposed to be so progressive, like they say, then all of these kids should be programmers, not keyboard thugs and twerking online. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> she right. You're right. Just, just Krista said, they will allow us to help clean the black boys and stuff and we finish work before others. You remember that? I remember that. You cooked back in? Yeah, it's just crazy. All right, hold on. Anybody else want to get on the panel? It's fine. If you want to get up here and talk about your childhood and your kids or other people's kids. Um, Elle said, right, they try to give her boys meds. That was effed up. They constantly try to medicate these children as opposed to finding out what is wrong. Like I said, if your child is 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 got a, got a high IQ and, and, and academically sound, then, then do you do. But make sure that's what your baby is because a lot of these kids show out in school because they don't understand what they're reading. They don't understand what you're showing them. They can't talk to kids. You can look up. No, you ain't do nothing. 
Um, what I was about to read. Remember teachers used to spank students back in the day? Yep. They used to make us line up. They used to make us line up and then they had this ruler. Pow. Ooh, that used to hurt. I'm glad I was tall. I, I mean, I ain't trying to be funny. I got hit in school. It didn't hurt. I broke this. One teacher hit me with a yardstick. It broke. She just looked at me and told me to go sit on the wall. First of all, what the hell did you hit me for? You're not my mom. I'm about to say, you know what they be saying? It's according by height. According by height. I don't, I don't know how tall I was. I wasn't that tall. I was, I was like tall, but it was like three people behind me. And think about 20, there's 20 students in the class. <laughs> I, I like, mean, I wasn't all that tall. I that time it got to me, that hand, that, that, the armor that person had me hurting, tired. And some of them kids show out because they hungry, believe it or not. Yep, yeah, because they're hungry, because of stuff going on at home, because they don't have a they don't have a stable place to study. They don't have a stable place to play their game. Shit. They play their game. A lot of these kids play a game as an escape. They don't read like we used to. I used to escape through books. I didn't have um just like we was talking about. We didn't have video games, but I escaped through books and reading. Is different than playing a video game. So I learned a lot just from reading stuff because I didn't have any friends. I wasn't hanging out with people like that. But a lot of these kids have so much stuff that's going on. And then when they get to school, you expect them to be straight A's. And then the very parents that are putting them through the shit expect them to be straight A's. But you don't want to not provide a straight A home. You got you got young you got young people that are that are you know love being athletes, but their parents put so much press on them to be the best athlete so that they can go to the NFL or the NBA mm -hmm. or to be the next Re Venus and Serena or Michael whoever. Jordan. Instead of just letting them compete and be who they are, I just I see a lot of parents that try to live their life through their kids. And that's where this stuff comes up at. What's up, Janelle? Janelle said, my niece and nephew know about TikTok, how to search for things on YouTube, but don't know Word, Excel, or how to make a resume. Because they're not taught that. That's a lot of kids. They don't teach that in school. They don't give, they don't have a class. They should have a class that's required by every high school student life lessons, real life lessons, how to do a resume, how to make it, how to, hell, how to balance a checkbook, mm -hmm. how to change a tire, how to cook a meal, not home ec, but real life. Mm -hmm. What to do if you get pulled up by the police? How to sit down for an interview. Parents, we try to show them stuff, but by the time they get home from being in school eight hours a day, and then we squeezing that, make sure you do your work in and do your chores and do your homework, and then they squeezing that, let me get my plan time in. I mean, how many of us sit down and, and show our kids how to write a resume? Write a resume? How many of us have sat down and showed our kids how to write a resume? Even how to fill out an application. I know I tell Nick, now that he's looking for work, I tell him what he should do as far as at work and how he should act. I, but I've never sat down and, 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 and filled out an application with him. He did that. I never sat down and showed him about a resume. Baby? Um, my teacher had a thick-ass paddle to spank us. God damn. <laughs> Susie Q teacher had a big old thick paddle. Yes, you're right, Lisa. Just Chris said. Susie, the parents shouldn't re rely on teachers in schools to teach kids everything, every single thing. Some yeah. parents do. They rely on the teacher for everything instead of helping teach. Well, I mean, those are the same parents that's going to go up to the teacher talking about my little Timmy don't do this and my little Timmy don't do that. So them the same parents. 
you got to be aware of what your kids can and can't do, what they will and won't do. And not blame. I mean, I can't. Unless the teacher do something to Nick, I'm not going to blame that teacher because Nick don't, Nick can't get this. For some reason, for some reason, Nick's kryptonite is Spanish. <laughs> he get a good strong C in Spanish and I'm happy because for some reason, he just cannot learn another language is not going to be his thing. It's not that lady fault that he can't learn Spanish. Mm -hmm. I tried it. Didn't work for me. Huh? Spanish wasn't my thing either. Some passed, people, but Nick get a good strong C in Spanish. I'm straight. Math was never my forte. I floated with a good B. Shit, depending upon how high math got, good C. Now, my other, the other stuff, anything having to do with reading and writing, I was an A. But as far as math, got, uh -uh. right. Um, just an essay. They know how to talk back. No one teach, teaches them. TikTok women, they know how to talk back. No one teaches them TikTok. They just stumble on those apps. Krista said, life is about balance, but we need to learn that from home. Yeah. It all starts from the house. We have to take responsibility for our kids. And bad or good, we have to take responsibility for that. Mm -hmm. And so far, we doing good, but that's not to say something. I mean, think about I don't think any parent I don't think any parent of, of a drug dealer or, or, or a thief or a murderer, I don't think any of them get up in the morning and say, well, I'm, I'm going to raise a thief or murderer and a drug dealer today. I want to say the majority of parents wake up with good intentions. I'm going to take care of my baby. I'm going to send them to school. I'm going to show them love. But somewhere in there, they went off track. Somewhere. I just think parents are not parents these days. Not like back in the day. Everybody should be parents. I, I, but the reality is, is that we we have gotten too complacent with having babies. We got shows on TV teaching little girls that to be 16 and pregnant you can get on TV. We got little girls in, in middle school having babies. We got 36-year-old grandmoms. 35-year-old mm -hmm. grandmoms. Shit, 24-year-old grandmoms. 12, 12, and 12. Just because you have a uterus and the ability to have a baby does not mean you should be somebody's mama. It does not mean you're capable of being somebody's mama. And I have as yet to meet one child that is capable of being somebody's mama. Now, you good at babysitting, but that 24-hour, seven-day-a-week mama thing is not for everybody. But it's just, it's, it, it has become fashionable to have all these babies. And I'm not just talking about women, men, too. And now somebody got to raise them. That's why I say that when, when Britney babies and their babies, I don't even know what it's going to be like. Won't be here to find well, out. Britney baby, Britney baby got a grown up mom and daddy. They got 30 year old, 30, 30 some year old parents. In that bracket. Right, but, but Britney, uh, not trying to be funny, Britney kids will hang out with kids like Britney because that's going to be the kids that Britney puts them with because that's. Because that's their, that's a, a married couple, a, an adult married couple having their baby the way they're supposed to. So that's the kids that that baby's going to hang out with. Mm. Even though I was a single parent, the kids Nick hung out with, we were a family. And we took care of these kids. Everybody took care of us. My niece and nephew are in their 20s. Ain't no baby in sight. No babies in sight. Going to college, doing their thing. 
because that's how they were raised. You put your kids, you set your kids up to the situation that you want them to grow up in. But some parents don't have that luxury. Some parents don't have that support system. Some parents don't have the knowledge to do that. You got babies that's having babies so somebody will love them. Mm -hmm. And now these babies need to be raised, but so do they mom. So do they daddy. It's cute to have a. I mean, Brittany. It's. Do you know the killer part is that when you when we see all these gender reveals on TikTok and Facebook and and anywhere else on social media, how nobody assumes that the couples are married. Right. Nobody assumes that that's his wife and that's her husband. They just know they having a baby. These two people having a baby. Because next week you'll see him on TikTok fighting and arguing. I put his ass out. He getting on my nerves. Mm -hmm. Krista said, I think parents have a lot more to deal with these days due to the internet right in our homes. We used to have to go out and be shown things. Now it's right in the bedroom, et cetera. It's true. But I mean, we was nasty back in the day. We did stuff. We just didn't get caught. Nobody saw us. It's not It's not the evidence of the shit we used to do. These kids are doing what we used to do. They're just not leaving the evidence. Putting videos up to Snapchat and Instagram showing just how stupid you are. We did stupid stuff, but don't nobody know. We, ain't had no, we didn't have no type of devices. No. At all. Don't nobody know all the shit we did. <laughs> oh, no. Thank God. Now I want everybody in this chat who is 40 and older to think back. You doing? We doing these. These kids are doing exactly what we did. They just have better, better devices to post that shit on. I would have fought somebody posted the shit I used to do. We would have been fighting. <laughs> Bitch, I wish you would take a picture of me. <laughs> the hell? That's crazy. But nowadays, nowadays. And I think that's a, nowadays bad behavior is, is what people look at. You remember when World Star, all kids wanted to watch was World Star. Mm -hmm. That's it. All kids wanted to watch World Star. It was laughing and joking and the fighting and stuff, and, and all that was great. We, we used to laugh at folks fighting. Mm -hmm. That's around the hill. Somebody said, I'm going to meet you at three o'clock out of school. Shit. <laughs> We used to pull up the folk house talking about we want to fight. But we just think it, it just was never videotaped. Mm -hmm. But now these kids can can record everything. By the time you get home, everybody and their grandmaby that saw you fight that girl. You get the call from your, your family. Yeah. Hey, did, did you see that video? Did you see it? His ass probably on the internet. You doing what? Folks sending you stuff. Kids can't get away with shit. <laughs> Now, if you choose to ignore it, but they can't get away with nothing because they ain't... <sighs> Susie Q said, I was only 18 with my first child. Definitely not an adult. Uh, we are creative. Janelle said, so I used to think that, but now I'm the only one of my siblings with no children and all, and all the kids are getting older and I have regret regrets. So I'm, you know what, Susie? I'm gonna That's tell you something. Yeah. Oh, Janelle, I'm sorry. I'm gonna tell you something. I was 37 when I had Nick, and the killer part is is having him made me regret not having him sooner. But not having him, I didn't regret not having kids. Every by the time I had Nick, all my all, all my friends, my family, shoot. By the time I had Nick, my cousin stuff was on great grandbabies. Mm -hmm. I was 37. They was working on great grandbabies. They had grown kids. Grown grandbabies. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting over there knocked up at 37 years old. But I I regret not having him earlier because I had him late. But had I had not got pregnant, I don't think I would have regret not having kids. Krista said, I have not kids either. So, because I had spent so much of my adult life 
being told I would never have any. So in my mind, I was never going to have any. So it wasn't anything I had to regret. It wasn't anything I had to think about. But once I had him, I kind of regret not having him earlier because of all the stuff I would have did with him when I was younger. But in, in, on, on the other side, I think he got the best of both worlds because he got an old mama, but he got somebody who understood that there are things that I wish my mom had did differently with me growing up and now that I can see it I made a conscious effort not to repeat my childhood because not everything in my childhood was great now a lot of the stuff in my childhood I did bring to Nick because I think he needed it but a lot of stuff I did so that's why when I look at him I understand that I have to look at how he's growing up through 20, 2004 time not 1967 because I mean the world is so much different if if I would have went to sleep in 1985 and woke up yesterday I would not have recognized I would have thought I was in a whole different planet just the amount of things you can do the access to the internet the worldwide the way things are going nowadays. So I just, I'm, I don't fault anybody how to raise their kids because I can't judge you because I don't know your life. But I know we got to look at our babies back and front. Just now said, um, my regrets is wasting my time with the wrong person for a long time. Yeah. 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 A lot of people regret that. I, I regret that too. But then I look at what I got now and I don't have no regrets because every everything led me to my wife. Things happen for a reason. So, you know. Certain things happen for a reason. Those things taught me what I didn't want, what I wouldn't accept, what I'm not going to let nobody else do to me, what I want, not just what I didn't want, but what I do want. Because just because the entire relationship sucked doesn't mean there weren't areas in there that didn't. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to sit up there and say I was an angel and I was an angel coming down from heaven with my wings fluttering and my halo glistening and sparkles coming out my behind. Cause that would be a lie. You say sparkles come out. Sparkles and rainbows and mahogany. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh. Susan Q said, "I actually thought 35 was too old to have kids with my last child, but not anymore." People have have kids like 50. To me, 30 was 30 was 30 was good. 35 was good. Shit. Well, no, nah, like I said, I mean, yeah, it's crazy that I look back now and I realized that I had gotten so deep into that I would never have kids that when I got pregnant with Nick, I was in such denial. I was in denial with Nick till he damn near came out. He was kicking me through the stomach and I still was talking about I got indigestion. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I still thought I was in a hallucination. The fuck? <laughs> Susie Q laughing. I'm talking about sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it wasn't until Nick came out that I was like, well, goddamn. I was pregnant. What the hell? I gotta take them home. <laughs> That's right. No. I don't understand. <laughs> so she said, yeah, women are pregnant at 50. Shannon Jackson was what, 52, 51 when she had that baby? Mm -hmm. Halle Berry was almost 50. She was in her 40s when she had her last baby. See, my thing is having kids that old. Well, like I asked you when we first started dating. But no, listen to what I'm saying. When you have kids, oh, do they ever think about 
that child will start running one day. Well, you know how people be chasing their kids to come back and. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, baby, what black, you know, what black parents you know chasing their kids? All we did was you have bring your black ass back in. Where the hell you going? Everybody about to chase you. And they'll say, unless there's a spark in two seconds with the next person, I don't have time to waste. Wasted twenty, with wasted twenties with the last one. I'm thirty five. Adoption is looking like an option. Yeah, it's there are millions of kids right now that are looking for somebody to love them. So if that's the way you want to go, but baby, don't never take it for granted. Somebody be the sparked up and you be like, oh, guess what, DC? <laughs> Found chicka wow, wow. <laughs> Karen, Karen Wood said, I'm so glad I had my kids when I was young. Mines were moving out and my friends were just having fun. having them. My friends were just having them. See, yeah. I had see that was that's the opposite. I just wanted to. I was glad I could do what the hell I wanted to do, have fun, and not have to worry about nobody else and no children. I ain't had to go find no babysitters. I ain't have to go tell nobody. I got somebody got to pick up little Nick so I can come over there. Nope. I worked seven days a week, sometimes 12, 18 hours a day, and I was cool with that. Now I went out the other time. Mm hmm. What's up, Von D? By the time I was through, by the time I was had Nick, I was through partying. I was too old to be out there looking like somebody mama coming to pick their kid up at the club. Damn. <laughs> Just Janelle said, it's not too late. I had my 16-year-old at 35. 37? You got oh, a couple of years. You, you got a couple of years, you damn. Bondi said, what's up? Bondi. Bondi, you got kids. Let's ask from a male perspective. Do you have kids? Let's go there first. And then the second question after that, once you answer that one. You don't have to answer, but if you like to answer, give these ladies some insight from a male perspective. Why does one stay up there? Let me just leave it right there. Von D, like, I'm scared. Should I answer that question? <laughs> I mean, you got to. He said, nah. Do you want kids? And if you do want kids, how many kids do you want? You have nieces and nephews. He said he don't believe so. Okay. I'm not wrong with that. I mean, I don't want kids. I am cool. I am more than cool with that. Yeah, a lot of people don't want kids. I am more than cool with that. Uh uh. It's Karen Wilson, none that he's aware of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll leave the baby alone. Karen said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> If I could adopt a tribe, I would, just as Nell said. You talking about being a foster parent, Mr. Janelle? Yeah, you can be a foster one. You want to try that? I don't even know. How do fosters, fosters what you have them? And they go well, what happens is you got to go through the state and you get on a list and you'll be a foster parent. So that anytime CPS takes a child CPS or um, or when parents pass away and they don't have any relatives, children go into the system. Now you have group homes to where they'll send children, normally older children, but younger children, they try to place them with families. So a lot of people get into it for the right reasons. But the reality is a lot of people also get into it because the government gives you money to take care of these kids. And the more kids you have, the more money you get. So a lot of times, that's why you hear the horror stories about um, you hear the horror stories about 
foster care system because you got a lot of people gaming the system. They'll say that they got this big house and the kids are being well taken care of, but they're not. You have a lot of abuse in foster care systems, but that's because the people are not really in it for the kids. They're in it for the money. See, I'm with Karen because once you foster somebody, it's going to be hard to let them go. I mean, as a, as a, when I was younger, yes. As a, as an adult now, no. Bondi said he got two nieces and three nephews. Yeah, as an adult now, no, I wouldn't. If I'd have been younger, it would have been harder. But it's to the point now where we kind of want to get it. We kind of got that getting ready to want to be empty nesters because a grandbaby is not a, is not our nest. Right. A grandbaby is a grandbaby. But um, what's the word I'm looking for? But it's it's because I wanted to do that, and I and I don't deny that I still want to do it. But we just don't have a house for it because we need a house that has rooms and the, and the space to do it in. But I know a lot of these kids, all they need is a safe place to go. Mm -hmm. Well, so, say one honorary nephew. What what that mean? And it's not by not nephew by uh not nephew by birth. But he had this thing like just like he thinking like mm. <laughs> nephew might be son. No, I'm just playing. I'm about to hang up. <laughs> Somebody that told him that. Huh? Not, 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 not your nephew. No, that's your brother. <laughs> it's not your. It's not your nephew. That's your son. Here in Canada, foster parents get seventeen hundred for each child. The older the child, the more money you make. You also make you also more money for other things. Yeah, you get food snaps for the kids. It's 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 damn. You say seventeen hundred? Is that a month? What is that? A month. But that's to take care of the child. That's about it's a child. Kid? Yeah, that's know. about a child clothes. I'm about to be wrong. What I'm about to say. Well, if you're not gonna take care of the baby, no, I mean, I'll take care of the baby, but seventeen hundred a month. Yeah, well, that's a job right there. What a kid is a job. Shit. I work at daycare, day camp, overnight camp, community center, after school program, and Saturday programs doing the art teachers cooking. Oh, okay. Program doing art, theater, and cooking. Lisa, oh, he was Bond, you laughing at you. I'm in Quebec. Where are you in Canada? Oh, she asked Karen. My older son, 26, my older son's 26 and 29, don't want kids right now, but I do have a granddaughter from my 33-year-old daughter who's 13. I'm good with one grandchild. My friends have a ton of grandkids. Damn. Can you imagine? Some people do have a lot of grandkids. Because they got a lot of kids. Food stamps. They don't have food stamps in um, Canada. Oh. For seventeen hundred, can you better open up a foster care house? Seventeen hundred, get you five kids. Let me just stop this wrong. That's so faulty. Anyway, you going to sleep? Uh uh. Looking at you. <laughs> you know I be thinking out the box. You joking? That's not the box. That's what they think. People do that though, for real. You remember that? Um. It's one of the shows we watch. Do you remember the show where this lady um Bondi said he might want one at 45. Hey, men can have babies till they die. Mm -hmm. Janelle yep. said, I don't have a degree working with kids, but it's the longest job I had before to going to cust before I go into customer service. I work for children's service here. That's what Karen Woods say. Okay. But you were saying it was a movie we watched that had It wasn't one of the shows we watched. It 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 is the um the lady had foster kids. Yeah, but this that's one of the bad things about foster kids. It was a it was a um a girl and a boy. And these foster kids have came from another foster situation that had abused the kids. So they mm -hmm. sent them to another foster care situation. But this is where the foster care system 
situation in America differs from other places. They're supposed to vet the person. Now, me and you, we'll go in there and say we got a five-bedroom, three-bath house. It's just me and my wife. Uh, we got room. We want to fill out for the program. And they will go into our underwear drawer trying to find something. But you have cases where they have um, child predators sitting at the house with these kids, people who have been convicted of that thing, and they're not even supposed to be around children. Mm -hmm. That they barely even look at the application because they need people to take these kids. That's crazy. These kids will go from one abusive situation see, I, to I the next abusive get, situation. I just need to get attached, you know? And, and I mean, if you get hard. attached, uh, it, you, well, the best way to do that is to get an older kid. Because if you get attached, you ain't got to change no diapers. You can feel like you can be the parent, affect this child's life, and they might stick around. You got a lot of people who will get older foster kids, and they will go to college from their foster parents. That's the only thing. When you, when you, because like what you're saying, when you do foster, they go place to place, but they only go place to place if either you are a bad situation, mm -hmm. they go back to their parents. That's the part right there. After you done, I ain't trying to be funny. Very few of them go back to their parents. The infants, a lot of times, will go back to their parents, but most of these kids stay in foster care situations. Come on now, you have looked at. You have looked at um Damn. read that in Ontario, Canada, they allow by law to change the children if they're bad. There's a foster home company being investigated right now. God damn, that's messed up. I mean, that's serious. These kids, you have people who will adopt a child, legally adopt a child, and then send it back because it didn't work out the way they thought it was gonna work out. Because the child didn't actually the child wasn't exactly what we thought it was gonna be you just what that's crazy but to chain the kid you wait till you think it's bad now y'all think it's bad now wait they didn't overturn roe versus way it's gonna be so many kids in the system now mm. they ain't gonna have nowhere for them to go all right guys we're gonna get up off of here we talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Make sure y'all. I ain't saying nothing. You say. I say bye, y'all. You be ready sure to go. Where's that? Right here. Hit that like button. Subscribe over there. And um, make sure y'all come back. Share the video. She said, "Chain to the bed in the pose." Now that is crazy. Yeah. Hey, man. That's crazy. That, that's real crazy. All right, guys. We talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good remaining evening. Stay safe. But the money's long. I don't love it, but I need it. Keep it coming on. Only friendly me and friends. We don't get along. I put that on my name that I put them on. I put myself on stage as they sing along. I might book a session.
and do a hundred songs. I'ma let you hear them just to pull you on. 